How's it going gang, it's a final render here, and boy isn't it an exciting time to be a member of the Fallout 76 community. Not only have we got a fantastic Fallout 76 Wastelanders trailer coming out in just a few days, but also we have another Fallout 76 camp building video with the final render. Isn't that exciting people? Now we actually haven't done a build in a while, I was getting a little bit burned out on building so I decided to take a break, but here we have got a fantastic build to get you guys hyped up for Fallout 76, where we're building a Western Saloon in the Cranberry Bog. Let's go! So welcome to the Cranberry Bog people. This is a place which is meant to be lovely and full of life and delicious fruit, but is actually wet, boggy and full of dangerous scorch beasts. We've got a lovely little bit of flat land right here just by the Robco Research Center and the General Steakhouse. And it's a very cool location. Very nearby you've got the abandoned bus shelter, which has actually got some cool camp designs already available for that. And we're going to be building a western saloon, as I said. A nice thing about this area as well is that it often spawns for digested goo piles, so it's very good for manufacturing a lot of chems build in the cranberry bog as well. So with that in mind, we are going to build a little garden patch here. I have built this little patch with the digested goo plants in mind. They can spawn in this farm area. And then I want to have a small building just kind of off to the side of it. And I want to kind of line up my foundations against my garden so it all looks straight. And a good way to do that is of course to put your foundations down against your fence and then delete the middle section. So you still have a gap in the middle but you have got kind of a good height and a good distance away. It's all measured and even so to speak. And we're going to have a very small western saloon design but the cool thing about a western saloon design is recently we did get a western pack in the atomic store. And this is kind of the look we're going to have for our saloon. We've got two little buildings and we've also got a farming area where we'll actually be able to grow food and vegetables in order to make drink to sell in the saloon. And of course, it's a saloon, so we needed a little hitching post to put all of our ponies up. So let's go and have some of these fantastic giddy up buttercup rides, which are going to act as our imitation horses. They look lovely. But of course, this is the final render channel. We can't just have stairs with gaps in the middle on our foundations. So how do we fix this? We build a foundation and attach some stairs like normal, but then we can pick up our foundation and move slightly to the side with it and attach some stairs to that one. So there's no gap in the middle. But then in order to move that foundation back into place, you need to attach an additional foundation to that one. And then you can attach some stairs to that second foundation. Sounds complicated, I know, but if you follow that video clip I just showed, you can actually get rid of that gap in the middle of the stairs. Looks lovely, I think. And we do need to have one of these giant grain silos. This is something I was a little skeptical at first. It looked like it's a bit too big to look like it makes sense in camps. But it works really well. It blends into the environment beautifully and it looks really, really nice as well as fitting that western theme. Not only that, but if you're a survivor in the wasteland, you'd probably need a place to store grain because you can't really mass produce stuff in the same way you can in modern times, of course. But we're going to have some nice things outside to kind of give it a more farm-like aesthetic on the outside. So, you know, we've got food troughs for the ponies which are outside. We're going to have water pumps. And just overall kind of make it look like it could also be a farmhouse. But it's actually going to be selling liquor inside, which is fantastic. We do, of course, have these fantastic hay bales, which are a really nice thing. It's just a nice way to make the place feel a bit more natural as a farm area. And, of course, we need a toilet wrap. I swear, this little saloon has a perfect place for this little outhouse, and it's brilliant. And of course, the Western Pack did have some iron cactuses, or cacti, and it's, we've also got some regular cacti as well. So, nice bit of a mix there. The iron ones are very nice, but they are a bit small, unfortunately. I do have to admit, they are a little bit small, but they do look good, and they fit the part. They're made out of scrap metal as well, so they've got like keys and razor blades and stuff on them to be the spikes, it's very cool. And right at the entrance, we've got some cool lights. You know, we've got our Christmas lights up, just like rednecks. And I wanted to have a working chimney. So what I did was that I managed to get a fireplace on top of a stash inside a half wall section of the roof. So when you put this tall kind of red roof section on, you've actually got smoke coming out of your chimney stack. Looks perfectly believable, you know? Nice little touch. It's a very small little thing, but it definitely makes the place look just a little bit more interesting, a little bit more practical. And here I have a little barn area, which is also going to double as a power armor workshop. And we need to have a little moo in there, of course. And our little moo, our Brahmin, needs to have a nice place to sleep at night. During the day, she can walk around and do what she wants. But at night, she can have this lovely little area with like some warm heated lamps on the ceiling and some nice grass inside and some paintings to look at. And then we just need a cooking thing outside, you know, so you can sit around at night and tell campfire tales and sing songs and drink some of that extremely nasty vintage Nuka Shine and make the place feel alive. And of course we just need a few little crims crams on the outside to make it feel a bit more country, so we've got like some vegetable patches and stuff like that. 
and we needed a name for this western saloon. And I decided to go with the big iron on his hip, of course, after the song that is notoriously repetitive inside of Fallout New Vegas. And it's a good name. And we've got lots of these kind of cool pink letters and also the neon lights to make a cool looking display that's a little bit different than just plain text. And here we are with the exterior of our saloon done. This is exactly what I wanted, people. I wanted something that felt a little bit like a farm, but also to be practical for the player if you were just playing the game. So we got a lot of the ingredients you need to make whiskey and stuff like that here, and also, of course, cranberry relish, which, you're in the cranberry bog, might as well make some of that. As well as some nice little human touches, like the little plushies on the bench, just to make the place look a little bit more interesting. We've also got Bottle here. He's decided to finally join Fallout 76. And I love our little barn area for our Moo. She loves it in here. Nice little area for her to be warm at night. And of course, we do have our nice little workshop for our power armor station. It's got stashes there. It's got a scrap box there. So that if you're just a passing player and you want to use it, feel free, go ahead and jump in there and use it. And I love the little hitching post with the Giddy Up Buttercups. There's something so just silly and brilliant about it. It definitely sums up 76. It's just fun, you know what I mean? And I actually really like the kind of porch we've got here, the patio area, where we've got like some seats and a spitting batoon and stuff like that, where old Grandpa John will sit there and just chew tobacco and play his guitar all day. Why not? Definitely feels Western to me. And now we're moving on into the interior. And I want to have nice wooden laminate in here. Something which I don't like about the wallpapers so far is that we've only got clean wallpapers. It would be nice to have some dirtier, more rough aesthetic wallpapers, I think, to make it look a little bit more fitting with the environment of 76. And of course, it's a saloon, so we need a big bar with a lovely rustic sink. And we use some shelves to actually build the bar. And of course, it is a saloon, so we need a round table where people can sit and play some Texas Hold'em poker. Sit around, yell at each other, probably shoot each other after a few hours, you know the gist. And we definitely wanted to have a really nice decorated bar, packed full of, like, taxidermied animals and display cases and kind of western-themed posters to make it feel really believable and really lived in, you know, fill the place and stack it. Of course, we've got lovely display cases to put alcohol on, such as vintage Nuka Shine. And we've also got the refrigerator and stuff to make the place be practical as well for the player. And with it being a Western saloon, of course, we need some Western-themed guns on the walls. So we're going to have things like hunting rifles, you know, Western revolvers. We're even going to have, like, the Gatling gun. I mean, that was around in that time after all, so it doesn't make too much nonsense to go and put that there. And for the most part, just have lots of tables taxidermied wall paintings and stuff like that. You know, just nice things like that that make the place feel believable and kind of like a bar. It doesn't need to be 100% Western, but it needs to be Western enough to where it doesn't look too sci-fi, that makes sense. So things like lever action rifles, black powder rifles on the walls, and lots of country wooden furniture, which looks really good. And of course, we actually do have a little area at the back. This is going to be a secret area. But the cool thing about this secret area is that this is where we're going to have all of our crafting stuff. So, you know, it's there. It's out of the way. But we do, of course, have this fantastic Nuka-Cola vending machine door. And this door was actually added to the Atomic Shop the day I started this build. So I was so happy they added this. It means we can have, like, a secret speakeasy area in the Western Saloon. So this is where, you know, it's Western Virginia, after all. This is where you can do all your moonshining and stuff like that. You can make all of your illegal beverages in this tiny secret area behind the Nuka door. And it works really, really well. We've got just enough stuff to have everything in there. And the actual hidden door looks really good, especially if you put wallpaper up as well. If you don't put wallpaper up, it actually kind of gives it away a bit because you can see, like, the dead bolts on the door frame. But if you have wallpaper, it works really well. And here we are with the interior fully done. This might be one of my favourite interiors I've done for a camp in 76 for a very long time. I've been using a camp, of course, which is all exterior for the longest time. But having a nice interior is generally a nice feeling. We've got lots of cool decorations up here that fit the theme of a western saloon. And it just looks really nice with all like the colourful colours kind of adding as an accent to some of the darker areas. And it looks really good. And just having kind of more wooden aesthetics and stuff works really, really well for this build as well. And of course, we do have our fantastic secret area. And we also do have this vending machine, which acts like a punch bowl. So we filled it with vintage Nuka Shine. So if you walk up to it and press E, you'll drink a vintage Nuka Shine. <laughs> and yes, that is very cruel because it will teleport you somewhere else after you drink it. But it's funny. Players do walk up to it and get annoyed. It makes me laugh. And of course, we've got things like pianos and guitars and stuff like that to play music for everyone to enjoy. But overall, this, I think, even though it's based on a Western saloon in movies, still fits well in the world of Appalachia. 
Because after all, a lot of Western movies actually weren't even in the West. They were in the East. You know, you got to think about people like Jesse James and stuff like that. You know, they were in the East. They weren't in the Wild West. But overall, it definitely fills that kind of void that all of us want. You know, we love Fallout meets Western. That's what's so great about New Vegas and stuff after all. It was Western meets New Vegas future robo, like post-apocalyptic stuff. And I think this build definitely sums that up. As well as having lots of really cool things that definitely fit the western aesthetic, which I think works well. But also, it's just practical for you to use as a player. There's some nice things about it, like it's built alongside a road, so it's actually blended into the environment very well. It's still very clearly a player camp, but because of its location right on the main road, it does look like there would naturally be a building in this location, if that makes sense. But overall, it just has a lot of the fun humour and a lot of the fun colour that we really like in Fallout 76 with the practical purpose of being good for gameplay along with filling that Western New Vegas aesthetic. So thank you very much for watching this video, people. Remember to check out the cool Patreon people in the description below who help support the channel with their financial donations. Keep an eye on this channel. Subscribe to the channel. We're going to have an analysis of the new trailer coming out on Tuesday and a very special secret livestream event this week. Bye-bye.